what's up what it do what's going on so i got some new decks y'all well these aren't even the decks that i have been talking about y'all know i replaced my decks um the deep thoughts and the music messages but i ordered some more decks um while i was waiting so i got another deck that should be here by the end of this week it is by aaf tarot the neon awakening tarot deck and then i ordered two decks from fire witch tarot i think so those won't be here until like the end of the month um but then my deck should be here um by next week my tarot decks um look and my system still acting up over there at work so anyway y'all let's get on into it so i wanted y'all to get a little sneak peek before i did a reading i wanted y'all to see that i added new decks i never opened up open the decks with y'all so every time i order a deck i just add them to the table and then when i do a reading that's when y'all see them i never announce it i'm gonna definitely show y'all fire witch tarot deck and well her decks because i ordered two and um aaf tarot i definitely want y'all to see me opening those because those are what i really wanted but i've been wanting the hidden truth all of all things intuitive these are um this one is the hidden truth oracle by all things tarot i mean all things intuitive and then this messages of love and i want all volumes that she has i want them um, and then I got the Hip Hop Queens Tarot Deck. Well, Oracle Deck. These are all Oracles. Um, I don't know why I keep saying Tarot. But these are all Oracles. Now, I got these from Amazon. Fast AF Shipping. Because I thought the messages of... Um, I thought these two decks was going to take a minute. All things intuitive, but... She got them on hand for you, baby. She got them on hand for you. So, let's go ahead and open this one. Messages of love. All things intuitive. Now, I got to find some room on the table for them. Look at these. Y'all can't even see them. So we got awakening, self-care, obstacles. Okay. I like these. These are cute. Just quick little. Okay. I like these. Oh, awakening came out, y'all. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. At the bottom of the deck, we got self-care. Quick little quick little read with the cards messages of love oracle cards by all things intuitive okay so i'm gonna cleanse that deck i'm gonna put my box with the other boxes and that will go on the table and then let's do the hidden truth i'm missing one and of course the box is gonna go oh let me read the back of the box so on the back of messages of love, it says messages of love, our 54 card romance Oracle deck shares clear information about relationships in any stage from flirting to long-term partnerships from twin flames to soulmates and past life connections. Whether you need clarity on issues surrounding trust, finances, spiritual lessons, timing, or second chances, this deck is an integral part of any Oracle collection. For a quick energy check on a situation, ask your question and pull a card. For more in-depth readings or a better clarification, pull several cards and combine with Oracle cards, especially ours, or tarot cards. Messages of Love is the first deck from All Things Intuitive, a family-owned, woman-owned small business in Atlanta. Okay, period. And she from the A. Okay, period. So, yes, this is the uh, first deck. Okay, but I don't know why, because this one say 2021, but maybe this is the first deck of 2022. Let's say this is the first deck. Maybe she just put it out. All right, y'all. Battery died. Okay, so that was Messages of Love Oracle Cards. And I read the back of the box. Let's move on to the Hidden Truth Oracle. So we got I Love You. We got, okay, just pretty straightforward. 
pretty straightforward messages. Okay, what would you like to hear from your divine masculine, your divine feminine, a former love, a love interest, or simply the one who got away? Ask and you'll receive the hidden truth. This 54 card oracle deck can be used alone as clarifiers for tarot or with other oracle decks. Okay, should I pull y'all? I'm gonna pull y'all some messages from each deck that I got. And we're just gonna start with where we decide to start. Okay, so now I really like this box. Um, it says it's U.S. price for $23. I think I got it. I think I got it for right around $23, I think. It's $23. Um, $24 Canadian. Oh, my God. Tell me this is not the cutest box y'all have ever seen. Look at the guidebook. Okay, and first on top. Rest in peace, Aaliyah, Angel. And this is the guidebook, y'all. So she got pretty much everybody in here. Um, they got a single card. Um, readings and examples. They got little questions you can ask. Okay, and little examples. I got the city girls in here. Okay, y'all. I like this deck. Okay, shout out to... Uh-oh. Y'all, I done tossed them out. So, who is this deck by? This is written by Kathy Iandoli. Illustrated by Monica Aha Ahanonu. I hope I'm saying that right. Let's read the back. Delivered with the swagger only hip hop can provide, this Oracle deck features 52 of the genre's most influential female stars serving as compass points for spiritual growth and portals to guidance and meditation. Yes, they got salt and pepper in here. They got Beyonce. I just had to tell them at work today. Everybody can't be Beyonce. So my manager said, I said, it's only one Beyonce in here. And my manager said, and who is that? And I guess she thought I was going to say myself. Of course, I would love to be Beyonce. But, you know, you got to you got to be able to you got to be able to hold up your end. If you tell my you you Beyonce. So when she said, and who is that? I said, Dr. The doctor, period. So, yeah. The doctor. The person we work for. The one that's writing all our checks, signing them, and can cash them down there if, if need be. So, anyway, y'all. I just thought I'd share that with y'all. So, this next deck we have is Karma Cards. Amazing, fun to use astrology cards to read your future. It includes 36 planet, sign, and house cards, plus a guidebook. And I really like this box, too. The back says, um, body, mind, and spirit, divination, tarot, U.S., uh, $14.95, Canada, $19.95. Karma cards will answer questions and help point you in the right direction. The great prophet, Eager, Edgar, I'm sorry, Case, defined karma as meeting your... Meeting Yourself, best-selling metaphysical author Monte Farber, a professional psychic astrologer, has devised a remarkable system to meet yourself and explore your full potential. It combines the ancient wisdom of astrology with a quick, easy technique. To learn the answer to your questions about your karma on a spiritual, mental, or physical level, simply shuffle the deck, deal, and interpret three cards, one from each planet, sign the house groups, each planet sign in house group. Sorry. Your message is written right on the card so you can access your answer instantly. It is fun to do, yet deep levels of personal insight are revealed. Let Karma Cards, a, divi I'm sorry, a divination classic, <laughs> perceptively guide you on your life's path. Included inside 36 beautifully illustrated Karma Cards, Monte Farber's 96-page cards guidebook, uh, Monte Farber or Mont is the author of the Enchanted Tarot, the Psychic Circle, and Chakra Meditation Kit. Um, and this deck is illustrated by Linda Garland. So, yeah, I really like this book. It's, I mean, this, this box. Um, and then the guidebook slides right in a little pocket that is in there. That is cute. Okay. 
And then the cards come out of the box and in their own box. Period, y'all. So let's, okay. Now y'all know we're going to put the box back in the box. But I'm going to go ahead and get the, get the cards out. And I didn't get the guidebook for the hip hop deck. So let me get that. I cut all this extra stuff out and then I put it down below the timestamp for the reading when the reading will start. So this is the guidebook for this one. This book is so big, but this is this one and these are the cards, y'all. Y'all can see that. So we got planets. We got signs, and we got houses, signs and houses, and I think it says split them up, something that read says split, split them up and, and turn over a card from each, <coughs> each um, deck. So let's go ahead, we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to base the reading off of what we pull from these three decks. I'm going to make some room where I got to get some more table space. So I'm going to shuffle these. Real good, real good, real good, real good. Hold on. Let me light, let me light my Palo Santo. Alrighty. Show them real good, get my energy going in them. But I'm already drawn to these decks, like it's crazy. So let's start with planets. Okay, that was fast. So it says the idealization, the idealization of or confusion regarding sign action. I need to get the guidebook. I feel like action is the karma. Okay, sacrifice, and then we have inspire others with be prepared to sacrifice for yielding is only is the only way to. Okay, we'll get the, we'll get the guy book. What do we have? Okay, we got methods for the healing power of the analyzing of resulting from the perfectionism of. The serving of others, the details of do what you must do, and and we got in Virgo. So you can be dealing with a Virgo. We got Neptune. We got Virgo. Neptune and Virgo. And for houses, we got in the second house. Okay, your beliefs, what you value, your resources, patiently what you want, get what you need. So we're going to read. Let's see. I'm trying to find okay this is the planets so Neptune okay so it says ego denial something about you needing to sacrifice something you're confused regarding something Maybe you're confused about this Virgo. Neptune's message. There's more to the reality of your being than meets the eye. The world of your dreams is as real as any other. Neptune's warning. If you put your faith only in the world of your senses, you will always know a hunger that cannot be satisfied. As the ocean dissolves the beach beneath your feet, I will show you that your fine castles and all inside them are made of sand 
Okay, let's go to the signs. We got Virgo. So, you could be dealing with a Virgo or you could have Virgo highly aspected. We have Virgo, the Virgin. Um... August 23rd to September 22nd. Virgo has come to be associated with analysis, attention to detail, handcrafts, worry, hygiene, and health in general, food, labor, and suffering through what must be done. The part of the body ruled by Virgo is the intestines because of their ability to analyze and digest food. Somebody could be having some digestive issues. I don't know. Let's see, it says, um, people born during the time of Virgo function best when their genius for criticism is used constructively. Isn't Beyonce a Virgo? Okay, so maybe that's why I was getting that energy. Somebody feel like they Beyonce or somebody, you know. I don't know, child. Y'all know. So we got in the second house. Let me find that one in the book. Okay, I don't flip all the way to the seventh house. Hold on. Hold on now. Okay, I won't be uh, using these cards that often, I see, till I learn them. Okay, so the second house is connected to everything valuable to you that helps project yourself into the world. This means money and all. Yeah, somebody here. <laughs> somebody here, feel, you feel like you're Beyonce, period. <laughs> so like you Beyonce and that's on um, that's on who period okay so somebody here know they the shit somebody feel like they the shit I don't know I don't know I don't know let's shuffle I feel like you need to do some analyzing or you're doing some type of analyzing here you need to Steady up on something. There could be something you you need to learn about healing yourself or healing in general. You could be confused about this. You're gonna have to sacrifice some things, um, and the actions you're gonna have to take. You're gonna have to inspire others. Um, this could be with your work or with what you do, just in general. Um, definitely be prepared to make a sacrifice. Identify what it is that you value versus what you want. Use your resources to get what you need. Be patient. Some of y'all feel like y'all Beyonce. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Spirit, what hip-hop queens? Let's get three cards for the Aquarius. Y'all, these are new, so they so hard to shuffle. Let's get three cards for the Aquarius. Two more cards. Messages to be had for the Aquarius. Some of y'all are trying to leave behind a legacy. It's like you want to be able to take care of everybody in your family. Or just the ones that mean something to you. You want to be the matriarch of the family. Everybody got to go through you. And you got to sign an NDA. Fuck the time out. You gotta sign the NDA to be around me. Okay, Beyonce. Y'all better come on. One more for the Aquarius. I 
feel like these cards cut my hand because they so new. Okay, we got two out. At the bottom of the deck, we got Remy Ma, period. Y'all know I love me some Remy Ma. She a Gemini. Um, and it's courage. So, I feel like you got the courage to do something, Aquarius, or, you know, I don't know, something that you're passionate about. We got Rhapsody Truth. Okay, so it's time to tell the truth or reveal the truth about yourself. Accept the truth. Let me move these down. We got SZA, passion. So you're very passionate about something, Aquarius, or you're um, displaying your passions at this time. You're, you know, letting people in slowly but surely. Look, we got the girl, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Period. Y'all know she did a song with Beyonce. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my, feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my. Okay, period. Leadership. So, yeah, like I said, you want to be the leader. You want to, you know, take the leadership role. And we got Trina. Tenacity. Okay. So, y'all got some tenacity about yourself. Okay. Let's read them. Let's read them. Let's see. This is interesting. So, we got Rhapsody. Let me see where she is. Okay. They got Dreezy in here. Cardi B. MC Light. Money Love. Us Girls. Tierra Wax, Sweetie, just to name a few. Okay, they got Rihanna in here. Okay, I thought I saw Riri. So, Rhapsody um, speaks of, of honesty, straightforwardness, comprehensionness, and stubbornness. So, you could be being very stubborn at this time. Like I said, it's time for you to make some type of sacrifice. Um, you could be being stubborn about something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you sparing other people's feelings right now. I don't know, child. Aquarius, you know, y'all be y'all be on some other shit. So let's see. SZA. Where is SZA? Where is SZA? Are they in order? I think they in order. Okay, Sister Soldier in here. What y'all know about Sister Soldier? Spinderella. Okay. So, SZA is about fire, lust, and drive. So, I feel like you're you're a very driven person or you feel like um, you can do shit by yourself. You can build your brand by yourself. SZA, it says SZA independently built her brand. Um, so, yeah, I feel like, you know. It says, just because your inner flame feels dim does not mean that it's completely out. A scissor card is a sign that it's time to rekindle that fire from within. Absorb things that will inspire you like, like music. Scissor's a good choice. Art, film, and books. It's easy to feel disconnected from your most passionate self, but that's the best time to run back. Your willingness to find that spark will determine your success rate. Don't fake it till you make it either. Proceed only when you're truly ready. Okay, we got a little Nicki Minaj energy up in the building. Let's see what Nicki got for the girls, for the guys. Oh, no. I can't find Nicki. Okay, here she go. The Nicki Minaj card is calling you to lead the way. So, Nicki Minaj speaks to archetype, torch-bearing, transparency, standards, and goals. Um, you may be used to taking the cues from someone else, but what happens when there's no one to report to? You can't always rely on second and third opinions when choosing certain walks in life. This time, it's all you and your gut instinct. Be like Barb's and take charge. Let experience be your compass. Some may challenge your steps forward, but guess what? You're not here to please them. March to the beat of your own drum. Oh, march to the beat of your own super bass and keep believing that you will get the job done. Okay, period. Yeah. All that second guessing, all that. Uh, I don't report to the middleman. Okay, I, period. I don't report to you. Hello. Trina's car and her career can teach us all a lesson. Hold firm and steady and you'll never falter. Practice also makes perfect. So if you're feeling like you're losing your grip on something or someone, maybe more work is needed. Often we think we've got it all figured out, giving us a false sense of security. That is until we realize we don't. Of course, that realization can shake anyone to the core. But let this card guide you in the direction of I can and away from I can't. It's time to get a grip, literally. Hold on to what you want to believe. Hold on to what you want to achieve and don't let that go. You'll be the best at being the baddest. Okay, and that's on period. And did we already read Rumi Ma? I don't think we did. 
Le okay, they got Rod Digger in here. Okay. Okay, when Remy Ma re entered the um, entire hip hop industry, had changed. Instead of falling prey to intimidation, she mustered up the courage to return. Likewise, pulling a Remy Ma card signals you'll have the bravery to enter a new cycle in your life. Changes are afoot and you may be concerned about them, but don't let the apprehension stifle you. You can be a little conceited, period. You have a reason, period. So, under your inner strength, Roll with the punches and hold your head high as you brave whatever storms may come. Okay, period, Aquarius. I like to remember my card. I'm conceited. I got a reason. Okay. I look too good. Yeah. And I look too... Yeah. Okay, Aquarius. Y'all look too good for the bullshit. Period. I woke up like this. Yeah. I woke up like this. <laughs> I'm feeling my eye. Let's see. Let's see what the hidden truth has for you. Let's see. Let me shuffle them real good. Get my energy flowing up in them. Since I just jumped right in. Alright. What messages do we have for the Aquarius? Let's get in from the Aquarius. Okay. What messages do we have for the Aquarius? So these are the mes messages from your Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. So what other messages do we have for the Aquarius? What are the messages do we have from the Aquarius? What else is the Divine Feminine hiding? Divine Masculine. Somebody is playing hard to get. This could be your divine masculine, divine feminine. Yeah, I feel like somebody's playing hard to get. Also, too, I feel like they can feel you energetically pulling away. I keep getting that energy. Somebody wants forgiveness. Any more messages? I hope that you can forgive me one day. So somebody wants forgiveness. Okay. So now they talking. They said stop. I replay our conversations over and over. Um, um, let's start with this one. You were the best thing in my life. So that's for someone. It's time for me to heal now. And I also saw I am not available. So I feel like they're not available because they are trying to heal. They're not trying to, you know, they want to start over with you, but they don't want to fuck it up. It says we need to let each other go. Yeah, it's getting heavy. Okay, let's see. I feel you even though we are apart. Like I said, somebody feels like, um... They can feel you, but it's like they don't feel you as much anymore because they can feel you pulling your energy away. So many things remind me of you. My life is not as together as it seems. So, yeah, they need to take some time for themselves to heal. Um, it also says I am becoming a better person. So, yeah, they're trying to heal. They don't want to come back around and come back in your energy on the same bullshit. It says you and I were too young. So this person may have been younger than you or you two are just young together, period. Or someone here is younger than the other person. Um, it says I hope that you can forgive me one day. And then this last card... <laughs> says you speak to me through music so someone here could do music or maybe you speak to this person through music or maybe they speak to you through music okay messages of love popped out with a, with a pop out pull up pop out i always get singy songy and y'all energy sometimes 
I say it always and then sometimes. Somebody here is indecisive. Okay, firm boundaries are needed now, Aquarius. It's time to set some boundaries. Yeah, time apart. So, yeah, that's definitely resonating here with this energy of I'm not available. We need to let each other go. But then we got marriage popping out. So, like I said, somebody is indecisive. They don't really know what they want. Yeah, denial. Any other cards? God damn. Any more cards, Spirit? Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we got trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. I feel like they're saying it's safe to trust yourself. I feel like in the past, maybe um, you've made certain choices to where now you're like, okay, I don't even trust myself. Like, I can't trust myself to make right judgment or make the right call. I, I, I can't even trust myself, you know, to, to pick what's right for me. So I feel like now they're saying it's okay or it's, you know, it's safe for you to trust yourself in this situation or it's safe for you to trust, period, because they got your back. So any decision you make can't hurt or harm you. We got marriage. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. But... I feel like you have to let go, let go of this person or let it go in order for it to become that. We got here and now your true love is already part of your life. So, yeah, this person is already a part of your life. You know who this person is. Y'all been down a rocky road. You know, you've been to hell and back with this person. And I feel like, yeah, someone here is going through a spiritual awakening or just an awakening in general. Um, You're waking up. They're waking up, period. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. So, I feel like, yeah, they're trying to heal. Um, They don't have it all together as, you know. Know, it may seem it may look like you know it, it, it might look good hold on my camera about to stop like i was saying it might look good let me get a sip of water but it ain't all is everything that glitters ain't gold i just heard everything that glitters ain't gold aquarius we got soulmate so this person this is your soulmate but you know this person is very indecisive right now or you are Finances, financial challenges are affecting this connection. Yeah, somebody trying to get their shit together. You both could be trying to get your shit together. Neither one of you, I feel like, are focused on trying to have a relationship right now. I feel like maybe you want to be friends or have some type of connection. But with this, we need to let each other go card being here. I just feel like they don't they don't know how to be your friend. They can't be your friend. They they can't understand a friendship with you. Like it just and I feel like it's not even gonna work. You can't even be their friend for real. Look, friendship. This friendship is leading to more. See what I mean? And this is why they don't want to be your friend. This is why they don't they because they know it's gonna go somewhere else. And so they're in denial or someone is denying. We have denial here. Maybe you were denied. It says detach with love to clearly see the truth. So you have to let this go, Aquarius, in order to clearly see what's going on like i said you're protected you are safe and divinely guided you're protected so it's okay for you to trust here now Aquarius. it's okay to trust yourself we got children so children are important to this partnership so you can have a child with this person or maybe this person wants children with you or maybe you're pregnant now aquarius vulnerability you can be completely open with this person I feel like this is how you guys were. You were open with this person and it didn't it still didn't work, but you learned your lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson or this person came, you know, came across your path to teach you a lesson. That's what happens. Decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. So, of course, it's time to make a decision. You have to um like I said, detach from love to clearly see the truth. To see that maybe you need to walk away. Like I said, let it go. Look, time apart is here. We got forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. So, yeah, maybe y'all are spending time apart or y'all have spent some time apart. And now you are able to make a more clear decision. We got warning. Don't dismiss the red flags here. So, yeah, you see the red flags. It, it, it's the same shit. It's the same shit. Maybe some of y'all reached out and you didn't get a response. It's the same shit. It's the same shit. I don't know. Maybe this person reached out to you and you didn't respond because I don't know. Or maybe they're blowing your phone up now all of a sudden out of nowhere. 
I don't know, boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. So it's time to set boundaries for yourself, Aquarius. Clearly decide what it is that you want. <laughs> what you want. Identify what it is that you want. It's time to get real, Aquarius. It's time to get real with yourself. Come through with the come through. Let's see what the messages do we have for the Aquarius? Maybe you need to set boundaries in this connection or just in your connections, period. Set firm boundaries. I feel like you, you set a boundary, you say what it's going to be, and then you renege. You know, that's why it says firm boundaries. <laughs> had to let your ass know this friendship is leading to more spirit tell me more about this decision look look at this king of pentacles the sun three of cups and the five of cups at the bottom of the deck we got the seven of one so somebody here is protecting their peace protecting their energy just period There's a decision that has to be made about an earth sign. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. There's a, a decision that needs to be made. Someone is trying to get to the King of Pentacles. They want to bring you some type of joy or positive, um, you know, energy. They want to be in a, a positive space with you. Or they want to have some type of joy, some type of happiness with you. Or just be content. You could be dealing with a Leo. So this is this may be the, the decision that you have to make. You're... You know, juggling between two people. And you need a circle of support at this time, Aquarius. Gather around those that um, support you and love you genuinely and wholeheartedly. Because I feel like right now you're sending this Five of Cups energy where you're crying over spilled milk. Where you're wor worried about what's going on around you or what happened in the past. And I feel like you need to let that go. Um, Five of Cups speaks of loss. So you could have lost a lot in this relationship or just in general. Um, you could be feeling regretful or you have some type of feeling of regret. I just feel like maybe you regret doing something recently. You have a choice to make between an earth sign and a fire sign. Specifically Leo. Virgo here and a water sign or maybe you have water placements maybe you have Leo highly aspected I don't know either way you have a choice to make a decision that's what the decision is about if you're going to take this person back or if you're going to entertain what's going on right now. You're just going to continue to be happy and single. I feel like you pretending like you got it all together too. What goddess is coming through for my Aquarius? Goddess is coming through for my Aquarius. Goddess is coming through from my Aquarius. Mmm. Satira. Brazen. So I feel like you need to be brazen about something at this time, Aquarius. Go for it. The fuck? And <laughs> speak up. Speak up. Maybe you need to reach out. I don't know. You know what you need to speak up about. I'm not even going to read into them. You know what you need to speak up about. Be bold. Be brave. Look, miracles. We got miracles. Miraculous miracles coming. We got Oya. Some type of storm or storms or you came through like a storm, Aquarius. I, I, I'm going to leave it there. I feel like we got, we, we got what we need. Do we not? I feel like we have what we need. Let's, let's move right along, okay? Let this go, okay? 
Peace, love, and light, y'all. Y'all know I love y'all so much. I just bit my cheek. Y'all know I love y'all so much. So, so much. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, <laughs> let me know which deck you like or which ones you want me to use more. Um, and then I'll let y'all know when the other ones come. Anyway, I'm not going to keep rambling. Y'all know I can I can ramble. I can be long-winded. I, <laughs> I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out.